you know, I used to be a huge Mario fan last year. If you guys saw my channel, I did a Let's Play on New Super Mario Bros. Wii. And I was anticipated to get the Wii U, because I thought back then I was, I was a Wii U fan, a Nintendo, and a Wii U fanboy, I trolled a lot, I tried to defend the Wii back in the day. I think now, six months now, I'm, I'm not even a fanboy at all. They all, they all died out. I look at this game, and I compare it to New Super Mario, New Super Mario Bros. Wii, right? And I look at this. This game here right now, it's a pathetic rehash that's not even worth sixty dollars at all so i think this game itself is even a, a letdown and all together whether it's stored at it's scored at 9.2 or whatever an ign maybe games not reduced that score because rehash yeah but really i just thought it can come up with the wii u okay i did came up with smart 3d land world but when I played Super Mario 3D Land, that felt like a rehash again, like... Why do they keep doing that? Like... Why do they always keep on depending on Mario every time? Stop with Mario. Stop using Mario, Nintendo. Like, it's getting annoying every time, how... How they always make these cash grabs. And after how awful Super Mario 3D Land the world was... It was a huge lead I, I stopped caring really. I stopped caring about Mario. Like these games right here. Look at these games here. These are great games for the Wii. I enjoyed the heck. To me this one here feels like a rehash. You know why? No what no thought process. This I think it took them like six, I remember they're making they were working on new, new Super Mario Bros. 2 at the same time with this and then at that moment I felt like this was a rehash at that time. Because why are they working on two games or you could call it two quick kick crap I mean quick crash cash grabs. Sorry for my grammar error. Yeah, because even New Super Mario Bros. 2 sucked so bad. The game got so boring. The the coin rush was a terrible, it was like really, the coin rush was even a joke, like the, the whole game felt like a cash grab, but I don't know why they were advertising that thing the heck out of it during the summer of 2012, that's not, that's the time it came out, they, they advertised it so badly, so, they advertised the heck out of that game just to get people to buy it, and I was one of those people who fell, who fell on the, on the hype, and I fell for it, and I wasted, and $40 were gone from me. And uh, pretty much $60 were gone from me, because that was the only Wii U game I saw on the shelf at GameStop. Damn it, did I say that? <laughs> but yeah, I wasted it. And this game here, another rehash here, another Mario quick cra cash grab here. This game, this game here felt bare bones. The online was terrible. Um... Well, what else is wrong with it? The story, like the campaign, I don't call it a campaign because it's really, there's nothing much to it. The best winning trophies are terrible, no cutscenes, there, no, there was no effort to play to this game whatsoever. A quick cash grab to me. And this, I think it's 30, this game is not even worth $30. That's what, that shows how, what happens when you have run out of ideas. Uh, when you run out of ideas now. Like, like, you look at Super Mario 3D World, a cat suit, really? And when I, when I played through it, I was like, is there anything new, anything interesting? Like, all the level designs felt rehashed to me. And, like, you have a snowy level, a lava level. So, even, they even rehashed the same en enemies, barely any new ones. Sorry for the light winking there. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Sorry for that. This is not right. They even rehashed the same monsters over and over again. I think that was the problem I had with Mario Galaxy 2 when this when I first played this one. This one felt this one felt downgraded. I think even the visuals looked downgraded to me. The power at least the, that was back in 2010 when they had ideas and two you saw some Mario 3D land. That was a ripoff also. They didn't like it. That's that's in my opinion though, but all these rehashes really are lame. They melt the heck out of Mario self. 
I, I didn't get I didn't buy Mario Kart so thank god I didn't buy it I tried, I tried it on the friends 3ds and that was terrible it felt like it felt much like Mario Kart Wii where is it Yeah, uh, it feels like Mario Kart Wii. Another victim to this. The individuals look like Mario Kart Wii. So we look downgraded. Just add it and remove the bikes, add those stupid gimmicks again. What were they what were they like? One was like a floater where you can float around. One was like a swimmer. Useless gimmicks that no one I don't I don't really care about because they add nothing to the game. The online can be okay. That, that was a, that was an improvement, but no voice chat to let down again. Yeah, Mario Kart 7 was trash. Now they're coming out with Mario Kart 8. Like, why do you keep rehashing this thing every time? Because of a quick crash grab, as I said, quick cash grab, an excuse not to make a proper game, but just a quick. Like really, we look at the visual that Mario Kart 8, that, that does not look anywhere near as good as Infamous Second Son or Rise Son of Rome, I see if I like trailers, because really, that's what I do nowadays, watch trailers of other games. So, it's pathetic man, like Mario Kart 8, now you have Mario Kart Wii, that was back in the day. This game had a lot of new ideas put into it and I enjoyed it, just like I enjoyed Mario Kart Double Dash. And Mario Kart DS, that's that was my first Mario Kart I ever played. But Mario Kart 8, Mario Kart 7, since I don't have that, I can't show them. Both rehashes. I don't know why anyone would buy them unless they're a fanboy or just a die-hard Nintendo fanboy or fan. It's really, really Mario Kart 8. I think the recent trailer showed the Kooplings. Do I care about the Kooplings? Like, no effort, as I said again, no effort whatsoever. The visual don't even look anything interesting at all to me. To me, it looks overrated because that was one of the main things we fanboys would use. Mario Kart 8 visuals, just to try and damage control. We graphics don't matter. We has good graphics. And some people, I think for some Wii U fan, like, oh, I don't need to spend 400 on just little sparks and waters. There was something like, uh, if I want graphics, I go outside. Uh, Mario's not a rehash! It's so special, all of them are, are spin-offs. Okay, when, when you mention the COD spin-off, I mean, the one for the DS, I, I don't even call it a spin-off. Oh, COD is a rehash, oh, it sucks, it sucks, but oh, like... Really, we you fanboys? Because really, you lose, you lose credibility, because Mario is Mario whether you Wii U fanboys like it or not it's Mario it's Mario it's Mario it's Mario whether you like it or not that's what I find funny every time they always they always try and defend Mario it's really pathetic nowadays really pathetic yeah I don't think I'll be buying any Mario game again you know, you can just suspect Mario Kart 9 for Nintendo Fusion at this moment. You can suspect another 3D Mario, Mario Guys 3. Just to make the Mario fanboys and Nintendo fanboys happy. Oh wow, it's really sad how Mario has become these days. Nowadays, just a quick rehash. At this moment, so I'm going to predict they're, they're going to start porting all the 3DS games on Wii U just to try and convince 3DS owners because I think that's what they're trying to do, just tell 3DS owners Wii U exists because it's funny how 3DS owners don't even know Wii U exists. Okay, so that was just a quick rant on Mario being a rehash. Why I won't even buy another Mario game after this in Smart 3D World. Not even a new Mario game again. Not even Smash Bros, because that's even a rehash of Brawl. I could buy Brawl and still have the same valley, because really the graphics are no leap. Okay, so stay tuned to more videos. Peace out. And, who's it? Oh, whatever.